What's going on, Big Bang family? It's your boy, Big Bang Joe. And today, we're going to be talking about Navy Federal's Cash Rewards Credit Card. Not only are we going to be talking about Navy Federal's Cash Reward Credit Card, we're going to be talking about how you can get this card, whether you have no credit or low credit. I mean, even if you have good credit, but, you know, that's a that's a gimme already. But before we get started, if you're new here, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know that you're new here. Not only do you need to let me know that you're new here, you need to smash that like button, punch that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell because you know I'm going to be dropping videos just like this, putting y'all on game every single day, and you don't want to miss it. But if you've been here before, you know I don't like my time being wasted, so I'm not here to waste yours. So we're going to get right to it. Again, we're talking about Navy Federals cash reward credit card i've already made a video on the flagship credit card and i'm planning on making videos on every single one of these cards but again we're talking about the cash rewards credit card this is their cash back credit card and with navy federal you got to know this everybody can't join navy federal uh, you have to be military affiliated to get into navy federal but i will say this uh, there are certain ways you can get in and i've made a video about how you can get in if you're not military affiliated and listen Go check that video out so you can get a Navy Federal today, all right? Again, you have to be a member to get this card. Um, obviously, you can get very high limits on this card. It's a $50,000 max limit for this cash rewards credit card. And like I said, you can get approved with bad credit or no credit. You know, it's things you got to do, but we're going to get to this. So y'all want to make sure y'all stay to the very end so y'all can get that information. So, you can join Navy Federal online on the phone or in a branch. And basically when you when you join Navy Federal, you can fund your account with the credit card. So a lot of people uh have credit cards, they might not have cash. You can just you can use your credit card. Like it's 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 another form of manufactured spending, honestly. But you can use your credit card up to I believe two hundred dollars to put in your account off the credit card. So that's that's a plus always. And with everything with these cards, you know, whether it's the whether it's a personal loan, a, a, a auto loan, or credit cards, they're going to pull from your TransUnion when it comes to the personal side. All right, on the business side, they pull from Experian, but on the personal side, they're going to pull from your TransUnion. And look, you don't have to have great credit to get this card, I will say once again. So let's go through this card. So right here, y'all see it says you can earn 250 bonus cash back when you spend $3,000 within the first 90 days of opening account. That's a pretty good welcome bonus, but you know, I have a ebook below showing that how you can artificially spend money to actually earn this cash back without necessarily having to spend 3000 And I know there's certain ways that you can't do it with this card because they will flag you. It's against the terms and conditions, but I have ways that you can do it and it won't flag you and won't go against the terms and conditions. So make sure you check out that ebook. It's in the description below. It's going to really put you on game. You can literally make money the same day if you have credit cards. This is a good bonus. It says this card is best for getting cash back, everyday spending, and you can have average to excellent credit. Right here it says uh, the purchase and balance transfer variable APR is between 14.40 and 18% APR and has no annual fee, no balance transfer fee no foreign transaction fees and no cash advance fees and with the cash advances you can't quite liquidate your whole credit card with the cash advance it's good that it has no uh cash advance fees but they will let you liquidate 30 percent of it so let's say you got a um a twenty thousand dollar credit card they're gonna let you liquidate six thousand off that credit card all right it's somewhere around 30 percent. i don't know the exact percentage but it's somewhere around that um and also you get up to 1.75 percent cash back on all purchases you can start redeeming rewards as soon as you earn them and i, I want I also want to mention about the cash advance you can actually cash advance it and it goes straight to your bank account so that's another good thing so if you want to run a play or want to liquidate your credit card it's easy um, i always recommend when you take out a cash advance have a play that's going to make you money within that 30 days so that you don't have to pay interest on it okay that's that's what i always recommend the features and benefits, they have no rewards limit. They got a collision damage waiver and no rewards expiration while account is open. So the rewards, you basically earn the cash back and you have the option basically in your mobile app to cash it out and it go to your savings account and you can basically cash out whatever's in your rewards, right? If you have $10, you can cash it out. If you have $15, you have $100,000 in rewards. If you have $1,000 in rewards, you can cash it out and it'll go to your savings. One more thing I do like about Navy Federal is that you can pre-qualify for these credit cards. So you pre-qualify simply by clicking pre-qualify me. And if you're already a member, it's going to make you log in. 
And once you log in and put in your information, your annual income, and it's, it's usually stated income, so you don't have to provide any documents. So, you know, do with that information what you will. But obviously, the higher your income, the more they will probably qualify you for, right? And it's no doc. So do the information what you will. And, you know, it's going to make you log in. Once you log in, it's going to show you what you're pre-qualified for. With this card, like I said before, it's a $50,000 limit. And you can get that fifty thousand dollar limit. You're probably not gonna get it on the original application, but it's, it's you're able to build up to that fifty k limit. And if you have bad credit, this is probably what y'all been waiting for. If you have bad credit, um, you can always pre qualify, right? You can pre qualify and see what you get. So if you have bad credit and you just created an account with them, you're probably gonna get approved for the Navy Federal In Rewards card, which is the secured card. Um, and everybody's gonna get approved, pre-qualified for that, mostly everybody. So if you have the chance to get the In Rewards card and you have no other options, get the In Rewards card. Because the thing most people don't know is when you get the In Rewards card, if you use it for six months, they will actually graduate you to a cash rewards card. And that's like an automatic hack. They're gonna, they're gonna definitely graduate you to a cash rewards card. And when you get that cash reward cards, all you have to do is keep getting increases on the card. Just keep getting increases. And once you keep getting increases, you can build that limit up all the way to that $50,000 limit. Because Navy Federal has something called the 91-3 rule. But I want to make sure I clarify this about the 91-3 rule. The 91-3 rule only applies one time when you get this credit card. What do I mean by that? Well, once you get approved for this card... You wait three months or 91 days, whichever comes first, and ask for an increase. And you can go through the mobile app and ask for an increase. And it's a soft pool. Once you ask for this increase, you can ask for an $8,000 increase. Uh, that's the most they'll increase you at a time. So I usually go ask for the max. That's just me personally. Okay, but they, they I figured out that they, um, they increase you 8000 over time. Okay, so you ask for an increase. And, you know, you update your income, update whatever, and then they'll give you an increase within the first 91 days or three months. So after that, it's no longer 91.3. It's going to be every six months. Okay, so after the, the first 91 days, after you get an increase, now you got to wait six months to get another increase, six months to get another increase. Right, so this doesn't happen overnight. You can't get a $50,000 limit overnight, but you can do it over time. And if you have bad credit, you can do the same exact thing. And with Navy Federal, they have an internal score. So when you have, when I say internal score, I mean, basically, they go off your TransUnion score. But like I said, if you have bad credit or no credit, you know, no credit meaning you can get the in rewards card. Bad credit, you can get the in rewards card as well. But if you have that, you can build a relationship with Navy Federal by opening a savings secure loan, by getting a secure card, um, by just putting money in your bank account, right? Depositing that original uh, 250 in your bank account that you can liquidate off your credit card, let's say if you don't have no money, or put in your savings. You can do all that, and that over time will build that relationship and build data points and increase the internal score with Navy Federal. And then once the internal score is uh, increased, you can get high limits. So a, another strategy you can use is basically just making deposit with Navy Federal and opening a pledge loan with Navy Federal. I have a pledge loan video. So if y'all don't know what a pledge loan is, y'all go check that out. Um, I, I made this video a while ago, but again, you can check that video out. But if you get pledge loans and use those pledge loans, you can build that relationship and then you can go pre-qualify and get several options. And um, I know y'all probably hear about the late night hack. The late night hack is a myth. This is just going off strictly off your internal score. Okay. Not strictly, but your your transunion score is included as well, but it's going off your internal score. But yeah, you can you can easily increase up to fifty thousand. I have currently have a twenty eight thousand dollar cash rewards credit limit. And the only reason I have a twenty eight thousand dollar cash uh, rewards credit limit is because I have three Navy Federal credit cards and you can basically get an accumulative limit of eighty thousand and I have reached that limit. So I can no longer get increases anymore because I've reached the eighty thousand dollar threshold. I have a thirty four thousand dollar flagship, I have a twenty two thousand dollar more rewards, and I have um a twenty eight thousand dollar cash rewards, I believe. I, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's it's somewhere around eighty thousand. I think I'm at like seventy nine thousand six hundred or something like that so i might as well just leave it there because the max is eighty thousand okay um you can get fifty thousand on one credit on this one credit card and you can get fifty thousand on the other credit cards as well as a max but you can't have a total limit of over eighty thousand so i want y'all to know that that's very important okay so 
I just gave y'all a game on how to actually get this credit card. And I gave y'all the data points. On when I applied for this card, I had about a 740. Um, it was a while ago. It was when I first started my credit journey. I had about a 740. I had new, fairly new credit. I probably had five or six months credit history. Didn't have many inquiries. Uh, but I got approved originally for 20000 with this card. Okay, so I got a very high limit originally. It was one of my first high limit credit cards, okay? So, I just gave y'all the game. If y'all have this card, let me know what you like about it below. Let me know your limit. Let me know what you started off with. Let me know what you are able to grow your account to. If you don't have this card and you go pre-qualify and you're able to get this card, whether you have bad credit, good credit, or no credit, let me know down below. Let me know your data points below. And we would love to come celebrate that win with you because that's what we do on this side. But with that being said, I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bells. And always remember, the top ain't going nowhere. You just got to get there. Let's get it. How to go and get it. Steady grinding just behind the scenes. I've been on a mission. Got to touch him by any means.